What's up YouTube? So I want to make this video for those who may be going through the same thing and that is trying to keep your sanity as you are living under Weimar conditions. Um, so we've talked about the Weimar Republic before. We know what happened there in Germany. Uh, it was prior to World War II and actually I believe it is what caused World War II because what happened during the Weimar Republic was you had hyperinflation and the mark, the currency at the time, essentially hyperinflated away and the middle class lost everything. From there, the people were looking to a leader. That leader was Hitler. And then you had World War II take off. And so just getting to the premise of this video, you know, we are getting nickeled and dimed. And when I say we, I'm talking about the common man, the middle class. And we're being told, we're being gaslit to believe that this is okay and that everything is fine. We're supposed to act like our property taxes increasing 100% year over year is normal. Or we're supposed to act like food bills going up, you know, 300, 400% in a year is normal. Now, I must say, I guess everyone around me is making six figures, you know, they're making 200, 300 grand a year, because to be honest with you, that is the only way you are able to tame this inflation, in my opinion, if you're making that type of money. And you know, it really is unfortunate because I truly believe that many will just not wake up to what's going on. They're going to just continue on with life. And I think that it's gonna get to the point where they may lose everything and I don't even know if they will still wake up. I think they may just accept it. It really is baffling to me how people can be on the cusp of maybe losing their home because of these property taxes that continue to go up and maybe they're on a fixed income or maybe there's only one individual working in the household because the mom has to stay home with the kids because they want their kids to be raised in a godly manner. And the answer is just, well, I guess I'm just gonna take it. Like, I don't understand how this country has gotten so soft and the population has gotten so soft. It really doesn't make sense to me because this country was built upon dangerous men, okay? Dangerous men. You know, there was a saying out there, I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery, okay? Freedom is always gonna be dangerous. And what's going on right now, you have tyrants. You have tyrants trying to take control and they're doing it through the finance, okay? That is the number one thing and that is what this channel has always been about. It has been about educating the populace, about educating the common man so they understand that this is how you're being controlled. I mean, think about it. What is the best way to control a population? And it's going to be by controlling the money supply. That's why you have families such as the Rothschilds who are always involved in finances because they are pulling the strings. They are your rulers. They are your oligarchs. If they can control the money supply, they can make you do whatever they want. I mean, go back to 2020 where people were given an ultimatum and they were told either you take this magic potion or you're going to lose your income. Many didn't want to take it, but you want to know what? The almighty dollar that's being controlled by these central banks forced them to go ahead and take this magic potion because maybe they had to provide for a family. They didn't want to lose their home. They're the only one in the household working. You know, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Would I do it personally? No, I would just go ahead and foreclose on my home because my health is way more important than material things. And my health and being at the top of my health so I can be there for my kids and my family is of the utmost importance. There is absolutely no way you're gonna control me with this paper money that is fictitious, okay? And a lot of people didn't have that mindset. But I believe that those who were Christians and had the Holy Spirit and were being filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit was talking to them, you know, we were ready to leave our jobs. And many of us did. Many of us were forced to go ahead and leave our jobs. Um, many of us got lucky. We were blessed. We didn't have to. But I'm hearing how they're talking about possibly bringing back this whole scenario that we saw back in 2020. And I am just shaking my head right now because I cannot believe we're even considering as a population that this is even an option. This is the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and expecting different results. That is the definition of insanity. Yet we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this again. They're going to try to push this on the population again. 
I just don't understand why people have become such pushovers. Why people have allowed these huge corporations to essentially just walk all over them. And how are they walking all over them? Again, they're using the fiat. That is the main theme of this channel. The fiat is a tool of control. I keep saying that in almost all of my videos because once you understand it, you understand how they operate. It's always about money and they're going to get you to do what they want you to do through the fiat. And that's why I keep saying in my videos, the solution to all of this is very simple. It is peaceful non-compliance and we come together as a society and we say, hey, you want to know what? The Federal Reserve is unconstitutional. Per our constitution in Article 1, Section 10, it says payment of debts should be in the form of gold and silver coin only. And during that time, the states were in control of the monetary policy. Why don't we go ahead and go back to that situation where the states are in control of their own monetary policy? We don't need the Federal Reserve printing up these fictitious notes, charging us usury on it, and enslaving all of us. We don't need that. We can operate in God's money, which is gold and silver, which I believe is the solution out of this. And it's so simple. All you need is peaceful non-compliance. We all come together and we say we are done operating in this fiat. We don't want it anymore. We want God's money, which is gold and silver. We want something that is going to retain our purchasing power. We want something that is going to allow us to reap the fruits of our labor. And we do not want this fiat because you're printing it worthless. You're punishing savers. Again, by saving, you're essentially losing money. You're being stolen from. It's called inflation. It's a form of theft. You know, it really is just insane to me how we're in the year 2023 and really all of this nonsense started to take off in 2020. I mean, many were awake before then, but it really started to kick up in 2020. And we still have people who just refuse to wake up. They're just eating up everything that mainstream media gives them. And that's why I tell you guys all the time, don't waste your time trying to wake people up. That is a lost cause, okay? You're not going to wake them up. If they have not woken up at this point in time, they are never going to wake up. They have a form of cognitive dissonance and they refuse to admit that they've been duped. Actually, I believe it goes back to pride um, a lot of these people are prideful and they can't admit that they were wrong about something. They can't admit that they were possibly duped or conned, right? That's what I truly believe it goes back to. And as a result, it's almost like a gambler where they have to keep doubling down, doubling down, doubling down, even though in the end, they know they're going to lose it all. And so it's just so wrong to everything that's going on in this country right now. I talked about it in my last video, how we have veterans on the streets, but then we have these illegals coming here and they're essentially getting everything for free through our tax dollars. While again, we have veterans just rotting on the side of the streets. That is not right. And if you think that's right, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you don't belong in America, okay? Because these people shed their blood for this country so that you could have freedom. And again, regardless if those wars had ulterior motives, it doesn't matter, okay? They still shed their blood for this country and they deserve better. And look what's happening to them. It's disgusting. And so this brings me to my last point, And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. You know, we can blame all kinds of people who may be behind these nefarious acts that are essentially enslaving everyone. You know, I can make a whole list of people who we all think it is. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because all you have to understand is how they're doing it. And how are they enslaving the population? And it's quite simple. They are doing it through the finances. And that is where there has to be a collective effort from the people to essentially move away from that system. Peaceful non-compliance where people recognize that this fiat currency is nothing more than a paper note and fighting over who may be in control of these central banks is time wasted in my opinion because it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is essentially waking up the population to the truth that is this fiat currency. Once people understand that we are being controlled through this debt note, it is game over in my opinion because people are going to demand a sound money system, a system that is backed by physical assets such as gold and silver. It is literally the same playbook over and over and over again, 
More recently, you can look at what happened in the Weimar Republic and how they essentially collapsed the middle class in Germany. They did it through the fiat currency known as the mark. They hyperinflated it away and the middle class lost everything. And then that led to World War II. See, people are kidding themselves if they think that this can't happen in America. Of course it can happen in America because we are operating under a fiat currency known as the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar fits the definition of a fiat currency perfectly. And again, when you go back in history and you look at the trajectory that all of these fiat currencies take, it's always the same. They always go back to their intrinsic value, which is zero, and they hyperinflate away or they implode. And it really is amazing that we have allowed this to continue on for literally hundreds of years where we're allowing a few select individuals to control the currency that they create out of thin air and then charge you usury on it. And the only way to operate in the society is by using their money. See, that is the definition of a monopoly. And they can't do this with gold and silver because gold and silver has a finite amount. They can't just keep creating it over and over again and enslaving everyone. You actually have to have it. And that is why, in my opinion, the most patriotic thing you can do for this country is essentially stack gold and silver. Again, that is not financial advice, just my opinion. But if you actually want to bring change, you have to start voting with your dollar, aka your fiat, and putting it into something like God's money, which in my opinion is a direct threat to these fiat currencies being controlled by these central banks. I mean, I am not lying to you when I say I believe that all of the world's problems are a result of these fiat currencies. 100%. It's like really insane how we are still operating under this type of system and it's the year of 2023. I mean, it's quite ridiculous that we are allowing a few select families to control the money supply while enslaving the rest of us. And the thing that's most frightening about all of it, we have very, very educated, I'm going to say that in quotations, educated individuals who just can't see it. See, they don't understand it. Because they have essentially been brainwashed to believe that this is normal and that having a central bank that essentially creates money from nothing and then charges you usury is just life. We are living in slavery type conditions, no doubt about it. I believe that there will be a time in history when they will look back at this time and they will say, how did the population not understand what was being done to them? How did they not see the invisible chains that were being put on them through this debt note? And I truly believe that people are waking up. They're being forced to wake up. And I truly believe that people are starting to understand more and more about what this fiat currency actually is and who controls it. So that's going to do it for today's video. You guys let me know below. What do you think about all this? I'd love to get your opinions below. And as always, if you found that video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel so you get more videos on both gold and silver. And as always, God bless.